My name is Doug Martin. I'm with Paul Martin and Sons Equipment in Napoleon, Ohio. Um, we are a small family owned business. There are three full time employees, two part time employees. I would call myself the general manager here. And I also do get pretty heavily involved with the precision technology equipment that we sell, uh, primarily through Raven. Um, I started um, working with Raven approximately two years ago. Uh, I saw it as an opportunity for us to provide a service and product that our customers were demanding from us, um, being that we have a, uh, a growing customer base that is loyal to the products and services that we offer. My expectations with the precision equipment was uh, not necessarily to set the world on fire with it, but I looked at it as a complement to the business that we had already had. Um, I had previous to signing on with Raven, uh, sold light bars through another company and uh, was pretty successful doing that. I sold a fair number of them. Um, but I found with Raven, um, what intrigued me about that company in particular was their uh, slingshot modem which allows cellular RTK signals to the cab. Um, I looked at it as a, uh, a, a step ahead of the tower networks that had currently been used in our areas and I'm sure in other areas as well. Um, moving forward, um, you know, I, I see more opportunity with the precision equipment um, more guys are becoming aware of the um, the benefits that they're receiving or, or, or capable of receiving from the technology. So it's a growing market and it's not just anymore for the larger operators. Um, you know, the, the cost on the equipment has decreased. Um, the dependability of on the equipment has increased. I think the two things coming together is going to allow more producers um, to buy into the equipment and use it effectively in their operations. Um, and then there's opportunity there too, uh, you know, in the, in the rental market, uh, which is very strong for us, in particular as a dealership. Um, the rental market we use as a sales tool for products. Moving into the future, um, I can see us um, supplying equipment with uh, precision equipment installed in it uh, for guys to use and using that as a, as a sales tool. Um, one problem that might be uh, had with that is that there's a certain amount of training that goes with this equipment and even though it's probably gotten much easier to use in the last few years as it's ever been before, um, if you're properly going to use uh, the rental method as a sales tool, um, you want your customers to be trained with the equipment that they're using. Um, so, uh, you know, just to rent somebody, um, say a tractor with uh, auto steer equipped, um, you know, you want to make sure that they're comfortable using it and are, fam are familiar with the system. Um, that way, in, in future purchase decisions for precision equipment, they might turn to you because you were the one who was knowledgeable with them in the field when they were using it. Um, 